Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, don't mind that stuff. It's uh Yeah, it's just debris. I I don't know what I was doing. I I just um I added two tanks to the Minmus refinery here. Uh now this will be a test basically to see if the landing pad which we constructed actually works. Now, I am fairly confident in my construction and all that other stuff, so let's get ourselves there at least and see what we can get. Now, I do have to say, I don't know 100% if it works, so please, 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 bear with me if uh, this doesn't work. We'll have to end up redesigning, possibly and uh, relaunching. That, that's all I can say. So, overall though, I have to say that this base, after I've added these extra tanks, looks freaking amazing. So, it, it I, I really do have to say, this has to be the best base I've built so far. It, it really has to be. There is just so much to it, and it is... Right now, currently at about 220-ish parts, and it, I think it has a, it's about 250 tons, something in that general area, I'm thinking. So, let's try this landing. I don't know if uh, I'm very, I'm going to be very good at this, but, eh, it's worth a shot. That, that's all I got to say. It looks like we should be about 9,000, I don't know, 14. Uh, it was a good guess. That, that That's that's the best I can really say. Now, it looks like we're going to overshoot just a little bit, but that's more than perfect. Actually, right there, I think we'll be good. Let's bleed off this extra speed. I'll start covering when we land. I will cover the refueler because I basically redesigned the whole idea of what a refueler is and basically this thing is not going to leave Minmus orbit at least as far as I know I think we're gonna start doing our construction on our mega ship basically around this around Minmus what we'll do is we'll get stuff in orbit around Kerbin and then kind of just bring it over to Minmus and refuel it here I'm thinking that I'm going to start, because I, in my mind, at first, I, if I'm building like a mega ship, the one thing I will say that is highly annoying is refueling. So it, it, I will have to, say, I do have to say, I have done refueling trips before, and it gets very, very boring, very, very quickly. That's all I can say. Um, I have done uh, on one of my bigger ships that I built, the Jewel 14 carrier. I, I think I've said this before, but I've done about nine trips to refuel that in, in the past. And once you've la launched about six missions that are exactly the same, with the exact same criteria, with the exact same everything, you're basically at the point where you want to pull your hair out for even thinking it was a good idea in the first place. So we need to get over here a little bit. This shouldn't be so bad. Yeah, right that way. And just kind of taxi our way in ever so nice and slowly. I do have to say that I'm probably not going to get it like perfectly lined up on the first landing, but this is looking pretty good at least. It looks like we're fairly... You can't really tell whether you're over the top of the base or not, but... The one thing I'm going to do is kind of put it in a hover here for a second to line ourselves up. So, come on, come on. Now, I got to do this because I think it's going to be freaking awesome. And, come on. There we go. Alright, so, what's the point of which... That's perfect. I'm not about to crash, you kidding me? Alright, 
is it still technically crashing right now? Oh, come on. That That's so uncool. I wanted to go down to the base and turn on all the lights and stuff, but I don't know. I, I Every time I try to uh, make sure that these lights stay on, they basically shut themselves off. So there's not really much I can do about that. Just bump ourselves over a little bit and... Can I click on the docking port in the center here? There we go. Just bring ourselves over. Don't want to hit the control tower or anything else. That would not be good. Let's see. How close to center is that going to be? Alright, we're coming down a little too quickly for my liking. Oh god. There we go. That is freaking perfect. There we go. Wow, that that looks good. That looks really good. Now, I don't want to run my engines at like full throttle when we get really close. I just want these engines to be basically sputtering. So, oh god, yeah, we need SAS. All right. Um all right, that's going to bring us over that way. We need to go to our right. But it's not moving. There we go. I think I'll just do it that way. We're a little bit off center, so that's going to cause some problems. There we go. Wow, that is looking beautiful just come down oh god we're coming down too quick and we're a little off center i think oh we're <laughs> we're already on the, <laughs> the landing pad that makes sense oh uh, okay um see i don't like how this oh, what's going on here that that is so weird i think there's something wrong with my RCS configuration. Something has to be wrong with this. Go that way. Go towards a docking port, please. Um, does it have to do with the SAS being on is the good question. No, that's just how the control works which isn't good. Let's see if I can just kind of shift this guy around a little bit. I think it has to do with the craft. I don't think it has to do with the landing pad itself. There's just something wrong with the craft. Um, I think it has to... No. Uh, what? That is so freaking weird. Alright, we got the... Just kind of get throttle the engine. Let that magnetism effect take gold. Come on, magnetism. Do your thing. Perfect. Oh my freaking god. That is so freaking awesome. Uh, Alright, yeah. Now we can turn these on. There you go. So that would be what it would look like if I actually landed with the lights on. Because it wouldn't let me do it. God, that is so awesome. I forgot to delete this part here, but I was going to... I think I might keep it for something, but I'm not sure. I did get rid of the crane. The crane is completely gone. I, I just deleted it, basically. I ended up uh, setting it to debris, and it disappeared all on its own. So, I'll turn off the SAS. There we go. And... Now you can see, I, I used up a lot of fuel just getting here and everything, but you can see we have three tanks now instead of one. I did kind of put some fuel into these, but, you know, obviously there really isn't a lot. So what we can do now, and I hope, is just refuel this whole thing. Just completely refuel it. That is so freaking amazing. And I'll take from this side just to make it even there we go now I did equip this thing with xenon gas as well the xenon will be for you know whatever 
thing, I end up basically refueling it, it just anything. So th that is kind of where that comes from. I am going to have to figure out some way of putting a smaller size docking port on here. I didn't even bother with that. I just have the large and the medium size. But guys, we have a full-fledged moon base with a landing pad, a fuel refinery, a freaking air traffic control tower. It looks amazing. That's all I can say. Wow. Uh, <laughs> such a moon base. I, I'm just, uh, I, I'm, I, I can't, I'm, I'm like really giddy right now, this is amazing. So what we'll end up doing from here on in, out, hopefully, uh, if those things disappear, but uh, we will end up building a ship in orbit around Kerbin, and then once we get the ship fully fitted, it will come all the way out to Minmus here to refuel, and we'll just park it in orbit and uh, we'll, we'll just leave from here that that's basically the best idea I got on it I really don't like the idea of using Minmus but I would much rather use the moon or even just uh, possibly building like a space station that will be in orbit somewhere in between I, I don't know I, I really really don't know I, I would prefer mostly to have a refinery I you know what I no matter where I'm thinking of, I mean, the launches, having it built around Kerbin would be a good thing, but having it out here is better because if I'm leaving the system, it will be easier to leave because it's only a few hundred Delta V to leave from here, so it's not bad. So I'll cover our lander a little bit other than that, too. It's basically this whole lander and everything together is 16 pieces total. I think 16 or 18 pieces, and that is basically it. There is just a ton of just everything in here. I mean, a ton. Oh, yeah, that's not in the right area. It's got 4,500. I mean, that's basically more than an orange tank, almost double, close to double of an orange tank of, or double the size of an orange tank. I did launch this thing and it did have a lot of problems taking off. It's a 70 ton uh, refueler, so it, it really just, it's insane, that, that's all so. But my god, this thing looks so awesome. So once we're done refueling, but what I'm going to do instead is I think you know what, uh, wait, is there an RCS coming out of this thing, or is that just a shadow? Oh, that shadow. So we'll take off from here, and we'll get back into orbit. So, undock. God, that shadow it looks like an RCS. I don't know for you guys, but for me, that almost looks like an RCS port or something. The one thing I did consider as well is possibly putting landing legs on this. So the landing legs will just touch the docking ports. That way it can't tip over or anything crazy like that. So I think we have to take off going towards the 90, but I'm not certain. But we'll, we'll just take off going that way. So we'll, we'll just do our, our, I guess this is our wake speed. Wow, it's, there we go. We'll do our wake speed for a little bit, just to get away, get some distance from the base. I'll even kind of turn it off to the side here. Yeah, 90 is the way we gotta go. 90 is generally always the way you gotta go, but I, I was just a little unsure. God, that is freaking amazing. I wish I, I, I just really want to take screenshots. I generally don't take screenshots while I'm playing. But th that is freaking amazing. And, uh, and our frame rate, by the way, is only like 18. So it, it's not that bad at all. I, it really isn't that bad. This thing is just having problems taking off, though. It's like unbelievably heavy right now. Let's see. We just want to get it up to like maybe 40,000 or so. 40,000 orbit is actually really good. 
But yeah, we can take off. We can refuel and take off from another moon. Which, I don't know about you guys. That is freaking awesome. So, I, I really hope you guys are liking the landing pad and all that stuff. I, I really did try to make the best landing pad possible. Let's see. Is that up to 40 yet? Alright, just bring this down now. We don't really need to... Uh... There we go. I, I'm not even going to bother with any of this other stuff. Oh god. There we go. We'll see you later. The Keithane Refinery, you are freaking amazing. And uh, that's all I can say. You're freaking amazing. So I don't know if I'm going to leave it on this orbit, though. That's the one thing I will have to say. And also, I'm thinking about building a Minmus space station as well. I don't know how the, what uh, it's going to entail and everything. I don't know if I'm going to go towards building something that it will rival the uh, Minmus Mega Station on my uh, sandbox non-modded. But I'm looking towards something like that. Maybe maybe something a little bit more experimental or something, but I, I'm not really sure. I just, I don't know, guys. All I do know is I got a freaking Epic Moon base and I am friggin' happy. That's all. So, once again, if you guys know of any mods that you want me to mess around with and play with and, uh, you know, add along to my series, look down in the bottom in my description. I have a list of all the mods I'm currently using. And, you know, just let me know if there's anything else. I prefer Kerbal-like parts. So if you can find anything that's Kerbal-like parts, I will definitely... Especially if it's really good, I'll definitely just add it. I will I'll add it in like a heartbeat. But um, anyways, guys, we have a successful landing and takeoff. And uh, yeah, if you guys like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. To all you new people, welcome. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.